my late late trainer Peter Anthony he used to run the um, the, the the Roos Amateur Club. He, he'd take us all around the all around the valleys boxing. I'd be sat in the back of the car, and I, honestly, I used to hope we'd get lost in the car so I didn't have to fight. I'd be so nervous. But but then my brother, he'd be he'd be next to me asleep, wouldn't care. And he'd pull up to the show, he'd just get dressed like that and batter him. And like at a young age, like ten years of age, he was like like not knocking him out, but he, he'd be stopping him. He'd he'd batter him with blood blood all over the place. When you're there, you're losing two fights in a week and your brother's flying with the Olympics Team GB oh, yeah. and this, it's what was that like? Oh, it's all right, isn't it? He, he was the better boy. Yeah. Proud of him. I was proud of him when he was fighting. It, this, this is like a, a massive lesson in, in the story of you and Andrew yeah. because how many times do you, you know, we say that the skills can only take you so far? So far, that's it. You know, it's... What, what, what I lacked in skill, I, I made up with for hunger and dedication. Yeah. There was nobody more hungry and, and dedicated than me. And I've been in gyms with, I've been all around the world with fighters and um, I haven't seen nobody work as hard to be in the gym.